Accidents happen every single second of every day. But how do you really know if it's a true emergency? And let me ask you this. What would you do if you encountered this situation? Doctors, I just saw a terrible accident and the driver was on the ground bleeding from the mouth. How do I know if this was an emergency situation and if there was anything I could do? My first thought here is if you come upon an emergency situation, you're not sure what to do, get help on the way. Call 911. But let's talk about bleeding from the mouth. You know, who's watched the movies? And instantly someone gets hurt and just blood comes out of the mouth. Tons of it, right? And, and in real life, it's usually much more subtle than that. Yes, that can occur, but a lot of that's for the movie's sake. But let's just do say you come upon someone after some sort of an accident, and without overstepping my bounds and teaching you an entire class of advanced trauma life support, the biggest thing you're looking for is the ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. And so if you come upon a victim, you're literally gonna ask, sir, sir, can you hear me? Sir, if they do not respond, help needs to get on the way immediately. What can happen though, when we're, since we're talking about bleeding in the mouth is, bleeding in the mouth can be coming from your nose. When that occurs, Dr. Warren's gonna talk about what you should do. It can be intraoral. You know, oftentimes people in accidents, they'll, they'll have teeth and their gums ripped apart. That can cause bleeding. But another big thing that can happen is if you have blunt trauma or penetrating trauma to your chest area, you can have bleeding in your airway. You're gonna see more coughing up blood. The one thing that I will say is if you can figure out where the source of the bleeding is, for instance, if it's coming from the mouth, you can sometimes apply a little pressure in there. And the other big thing is if it's isolated trauma, because again, I usually say don't move a victim if you don't know what you're doing because you can injure their, their spine. But if it's isolated, you know it's isolated and they're laying back and you sense that they're choking on that blood, you do want that blood to go somewhere else rather than back into their airway. So the recovery position is on the side because then the blood can come out without going back and including the airway. But the number one thing is if someone is profusely bleeding from their mouth, in some instances, this is a very serious injury. Help needs to get on the way.